Thank you for calling Swift Funds Financial Services. We are a debt collector attempting to collect a debt and any information obtained will be used for that purpose. Gracias por llamar Swift Funds Financial Services. Somos un cobrador de deudas intentar cobrar una deuda y cualquier información obtenida se utilizará para tal fin. Did you know you can pay your account over the phone? It's easy using your credit card, debit card, or checking account. Please hold for the next available operator. Or, if you know your party's extension, you can dial it now. Thank you for calling Swift Funds Financial Services. We are a debt collector attempting to collect a debt and any information obtained will be used for that purpose. Gracias por llamar Swift Funds Financial Services. Somos un cobrador de deudas intentar cobrar una deuda y cualquier información obtenida se utilizará para tal fin. Did you know you can pay your account over the phone? It's easy using your credit card, debit card, or checking account. Please hold for the next available operator. Or, if you know your party's extension, you can dial it now. May I help you? Absolutely. I'd just like you to let you know that this call is being recorded as required by Massachusetts state law. Who am I speaking with? Who am I speaking with before I identify myself? Well, see, I asked first, so you can go ahead. It's Curtis. Curtis I'm not, I'm not going to give you my name until I know who I'm speaking with. Okay, then uh, let me speak with your supervisor, please. No, not until you identify yourself. I asked you to identify yourself. This is Swift Funds Financial Services. I know what corporation I'm calling. I got that already. I'd like to know who I'm speaking with. As soon as you tell me who you are, I will be happy to tell you who I am. Okay, sir, I'm not going to play that game with you. When you open a conversation with, you, with you, your, I'm being first, recorded, and I, ask I need you to know who, who I am you are so that I can I determine whether I intend to continue the conversation on a recorded line. Fair enough? No, it's not fair. Ask who I'm speaking with, and I'm no... My name's Bob. Okay, Bob, thank you very much. My name is Matthew. Matthew who? Bob who? Jones. Okay, Marchese. All right. What can I do for you? You made the call. That's actually, um, you guys made the call, so I would like to know who was calling me first. And now that I've gotten that information, I thank you for that. Uh... What, what are you guys calling me for? It appears you have a collection account charged off by Best Fitness out of Lowell, Massachusetts. Account was placed in collections. You have a charge-off balance of $584.26. Okay, so uh, I do want to take this opportunity to thank you for purchasing the debt that you did. However, we did not purchase the debt. However, the it is debt not my debt. To best fitness. No, the it debt does not, not belong to Best Fitness. Debt. It is your debt. The bet, the no, debt. it's not, sir. Yes, it is, sir. Mr. I've already spoken to Best I'm, Fitness, I'm, and it I'm, is not I'm their debt. I'm telling you directly, we do not purchase Best Fitness debt. This I debt have already spoken. Best Fitness. I have already spoken to Best Fitness, account. and they have told me that you have purchased the debt. So thank you very much. Well, they much lied for then. Whoever you talk to that has their head up their ass. So thank you for purchasing the debt. Now, how can I help you? Because we don't have well, a contract. We did not. Okay, Matt, I did not stutter. Swift Funds Financial Services does not repeat not own this debt. Actually, we are they an do. agent for Best Fitness Corporate. They have asked us to take steps to collect an unpaid balance that you owe, again, as I said, to on a breached contract with their Lowell, Massachusetts location. Okay, sir, I do understand and uh, that things are getting a little heated here, and that's not why I'm calling well, because you. Well, because you continue to state facts on a recorded line that are a flat-out lie. Actually, sir... If you're going sir, to record me, record the facts correctly. Sir. That's why I continue to say... We do not own this debt. I'm putting this down as many times as possible, right. so you can't edit the tape to try and put something out there that doesn't I, reflect the real situation at hand. I have no plans to edit anything. I have already spoken with 
Best Fitness. They do not own the debt. I do not own the debt. I have no contract with Swift, Swift Financial or whoever you guys are. Uh, no, you don't have a contract with us. You're absolutely right about that. Okay, I have no contract with you. Therefore, please do not call me again regarding your debt. I will be happy to give you a mailing address to send a certified letter requesting ceasing communication pursuant to the statute in your state, if you'd like. Would you also please state that statute? In, in, in I the don't letter? know what the statute is. It's, okay. it's con covered under the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Okay, I'm sir. sure Massachusetts has its own law. I am not an attorney, so I don't quote statutes. All right. In the letter that comes out, right, the letter that you're, you're saying you're going to send, is I didn't say I was going to send you a letter. I offered you an address to send a cease and desist notice to. You oh. said you started to say you don't want any more phone calls. That has to be done in writing, and I'm offering you the address to send the certified return receipt letter that would accomplish that cease and desist request. Okay, actually, you know what I think is going to be easier? I'm just going to block the phone number. Okay, so you can't Again, contact Mr. Marchese, me I'm simply trying to accommodate your request. What you do is your business. Okay, well, I don't want to deal with you folks at all, period, because I don't own a debt with you. I have no contract with you guys, uh, and that's that. So I do appreciate your time today. Do you want the Do you want the address to send the notice to? No, I think if you guys had my address, yeah, you would have tried I just to wanted, send I something. just wanted to make sure you put it on your recording that you refused the address. I don't need an address. Anything else? I'm just going to block Anything the else? phone number. Any, anything else? Remove my phone number from the, uh, put my phone number on the do not call list. I offered you a method to accomplish that request. You've refused. Okay, so let me look up the law right now. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and play word games. Is there something else I can do with you? Uh, we could play I believe we're Twister. done. You've made your point eminently clear. I'll mark the file as a refusal and notate it accordingly. There is no refusal. It's not my debt. You purchased you just, the debt. You just said you didn't have anything to do with us. That's a refusal. I don't. It? I don't have anything to do with you. I have no contract I, with you, sir. How can I refuse anything I don't saying. have? I don't agree with anything you've said, but that's not the point of the conversation, is it? Well, sir, maybe you should look into the law and learn a little bit about uh, contract law before you uh, continue. You know, Mr. Marchese, for... I'm not here to argue about things that have absolutely nothing to do with the situation at hand. If there's nothing else that I can help you with and you don't want to discuss the obligation that Best Fitness placed in collections against you, then I guess we're done. Apparently we are. So remove then my phone number. Have a nice over. day. Have a nice day. You too, Bob. You can go ahead and hang up now. No, you hang up. I'll leave you on muted phone until you hang up, okay? I guess we can be here all day for that. While I've got you on the line, Bob, I might as well read you some contract law since we're going to be here for a while. Would you like me to start with definitions, Bob? <laughs> he hung up. <laughs>